Welcome to this lesson on how to sketch a hybrid function and a hybrid function is one like this that's made up of two or more separate functions each with their own individual domain and the trick to sketching this is to sketch each function separately for its given domain and you just work your way down the list which is pretty much what I do it doesn't actually matter which one you start with but I always start at the top one and work my, work my way down each function one at a time so I'm going to start with y equals x plus 1 and that is a linear equation and y equals x plus 1 this is really 1 so that means that's the gradient m equals 1 and this is the y-intercept c equals 1 and what I really also need to do is look at the domain here so you only have to sketch that for x values greater than 2 so that means x would go from 2 up to positive infinity so what I want to do is figure out that left endpoint and it's critical when you sketch hybrid functions that you work out the endpoints of each part or each separate function so when x is 2 y is going to equal 2 plus 1 and that equals 3 so therefore the left endpoint of that straight line is going to be 2 comma 3 and now I'm going to draw that in and Having a gradient of 1, that usually heads off at 45 degrees. Same, uh, the scale is the same as the x scale. So in other words, uh, for example, 1 centimeter would be 1 unit on the y, and 1 centimeter would be 1 unit on the x as well. And I'm going to draw it roughly at 45 degrees, starting at the value x equals 1, so something like that. And what I want to do is chop off part of that graph so that I've only got x greater than 2. And so there's the sketch of y equals x plus 1 for x greater than 2 and this is the value 2 here and this is the value 3 here and as you can see that point is not included because it's an open circle. So now I'm going to sketch y equals x squared minus 1 and left end point will be when x equals 0 so subbing that into the equation 0 squared minus 1 which equals minus 1 therefore the left end point is 0 comma minus 1 and then doing the same thing with the right hand end point x is less than or equal to 2 so I'm going to let x equal 2 and I'll just put x equals 1 here to show what I did x equals 2 so y equals 2 squared minus 1 which equals 4 minus 1 which equals 3 therefore the point 2 comma 3 also belongs to that parabola um, or that quadratic equation and the parabola as well and a key thing to note here also is that this is your basic or this y equals x squared minus 1 is your basic x squared para parabola moved down one unit and the turning point for a y equals x squared is naught naught and when you move it down one it becomes 0 minus 1 so that means that this point here, in fact, is also the turning point as well as the left-hand end point of that part of the parabola. So I'm going to draw that in. And this point 2, 3, which is this point here, actually belongs to the parabola. So that must be colored in. And it's not really obvious, just looking at the graph, whether that point belongs to that straight line or to the parabola. So the only way that you could tell, really, would be to look at the domain over here and you can see that here x is equal to 2 as well as being less than it whereas on this graph x is not equal to 2 so even though that point is on the end of that straight line so technically it does belong to it but because of the way this domain has been specified the point 2 3 doesn't actually belong to the line it belongs to the parabola so it's a little technical point however the point still needs to be colored in anyway and this point here x is equal to 0 so that means this point has to be included and that's the value minus 1 on the y-axis there and then the last part to sketch is y equals minus x squared and uh, y equals minus x squared is an upside down basic parab parabola with a turning point at naught naught and it's upside down and just something like that and it should be roughly the same kind of shape as that but upside down and checking the domain for that upside down para parabola x is less than zero but not equal to it so at that turning point that needs to be an open circle as well 
and I just need to mark in a couple of numbers so the scale's clear and this point here that was x equals 1 and how did I know that it passed through x equals 1 uh, this one here y equals x squared minus 1 well, finding the x-intercept so the x-intercept for that one let y equals 0 so you end up with 0 is equal to x squared minus 1 and then adding 1 to both sides you end up with x squared equals 1 and from there x equals the square root of 1 which is plus or minus 1 so that means that that would be passing positive 1 there so you need to mark that in on the scale as well if you're asked to show intercepts that's pretty much how to sketch this hybrid function